so we four people uh, organized uh, international conference word camp word yeah word camp uh, which is based out of wordpress thing right so that was the first conference of word camp held in india conceptual knowledge don't mug up the theory i mean that is good to get the theory marks and having good numbers on your uh, mark sheet and all but conceptual knowledge is very important whether it's data structure whether it's programming or whether it's civil engineering any other thing those four years were like actually the golden book right in 2013 from IT branch and it's been 10 years now and since since I passed out first I started working with Amdocs and I worked there in Pune for around one and a half year or so and then I moved to Amazon and when I moved to Amazon that time I joined as a support engineer and then within Amazon I uh, got multiple opportunities in different different roles and then finally moved to as software development engineer and then one two three so now currently working as senior software development engineer. Uh, to answer your question, memories around JAC so. Though it's been ten years now, uh, which which is a very long period of time, because in ten years so many things happened, uh, including my job, including marriage, including COVID, which was a very big event as well. Uh, there are so many things uh, to remember. But around JC, th those four years were like actually the golden book, right? So, so wherever you go, in whichever company you go, I, now I I have almost forget most of the things around Amdocs, but I remember everything around JC because college life is like that only. Basically, uh, as I was in IT branch, so definitely we had a great interaction with PJSR. And uh, from second year itself, we were involved in there was a TPO cell in which me, along with three more, uh, two more friends from second year, we got involved along with the seniors from third year and fourth year. Uh, I guess you might, you all might have heard about uh, Gaurav Singh sir, who is uh, founder of Verloop.io. He has started his startup and now he is doing very well. Uh, under that particular tree, which is near the IT department, right? That is basically a official uh, bike stand of JAC, or at least for IT and CS department. So there, there are so many memories in front of that uh, SBI bank because bunk, proxy, everything was there, right? So we used to have a lot of fun there. And then in third year, uh, there was an event when uh, companies used to come for the campus, and the TCS was the first one. And we we had to prepare the labs and other infrastructure for the seniors uh, of, on campus, right? So at that time also it was a great fun. So we used to be in college for around continuously three, four days and we just used to go at home late night and come early morning to prepare, prepare those all labs and everything. And that was a great fun. So anywhere when, when we used to be involved with PJSM, it was a fun, right? And uh, project time was also project time, right? The sixth semester, I guess, in sixth semester, we have to submit the project. At that time, um, though uh, PJSM was, uh, was our HOD, so he very specifically mentioned that I do not need any fancy project. I do not need anything in Java or anything. Just write a basic. If you if you will even write a basic calculator in C or C plus plus, I need that. No uh, management project. No fancy Java UI or something. Uh, because management project like hotel management, this management, that management, we used to get from outside as well, right? So people do uh, buy the project from outside. So he specifically mentioned that there won't be any uh, management kind of project or something. So whatever you need to write, write even a small calculator in C, C plus plus. One thing I will be very honest is that, and I'm never uh, hesitant uh, uh, expressing that particular thing is, so I come from a small village near Jabalpur. I don't know how many of you heard about it, uh, Gotegaon, Shridham, that is 40-50 kilometers away at Narsimpur uh, Road. So I, I I used to come from there and uh, till my 12th, I mean my schooling was done in uh, Hindi medium and all. So that was the, I would say biggest issue I used to have in during first year, uh, which is the English thing, right? So speaking is far away first thing is to understanding the english so that is one aspect which i greatly appreciate that which was improved through college only in first year and th till third semester i had a particular problem and then eventually uh, the, i got rid of it and then eventually i got involved into so many different cultural activities as well though i not i was not used to be the core organizer out of it uh, but volunteering those things and then gradually i started involving into the core committee as well and then when we were in again in second year and then I mentioned about Gaurav sir, right? He was in third year. So we, we four people uh, organized uh, international conference word camp, word, yeah, word camp, uh, 
uh, which is based out of WordPress thing, right? So that was the first conference of WordCamp held in India. So that was a great exposure I got. Uh, and in that, uh, academic was not very much important. And all the things were around organizing the thing, talking to different uh, speakers and uh, managing that whole uh, two days event. So that is one, again, another thing with which uh, I feel that there was a lot of personal development uh, I got. Uh, sir, can you share any turning point or decision in your life which you considered that helped you in shaping your future? So in college, when we are in fifth semester somewhere, fourth semester, fifth semester, there will be a wave, right? Either you will be going uh, towards CAT or you will be going towards GATE, get, right? MBA or MTech. Yes. So that time, um, I had to take a decision that should I go for MBA or should I go with uh, the MTech thing, I mean, from technical side only. So that was one point, I think, which uh, happened to be well with me, that the decision which I took to be to stick onto the tech side and pursue the, I tried GATE as well, but I was not very much interested in doing, uh, uh, the gate and pursuing the MTech because I was more interested in getting a job first because of some family conditions as well. So that time my priority was getting a job and I was not interested in MBA. Though uh, I can say that I was pretty good in aptitude and uh, maths, but English was one of the problem. And I never wanted to be in uh, in management side kind of thing. So that, and that's personal choice, right? Whatever interests are and in what fields you are good at. So that was one point where I had to take a decision and I think that the decision went well. It went in my favor. So that was one turning point. So how was your experience uh, in switching from college to a uh, corporate life? Yes, that, that's a big cultural shift first thing I would say. So from college campus, uh, I had an offer from TCS and then MDOX was uh, not open campus, but it was a pool campus across MP. So we went to uh, Gyananganga for return test uh, and all the I think it's Karni, JEC, uh, Ganganga, Triple IDDM, and I guess Global. All four or five colleges were there, uh, at least for written test. And then we went to Gwalior for the MDOX interview, uh, in which across, uh, the candidates were there across the MP. It was a pool campus, not open campus. And uh, when, when, when I joined Amazon, definitely it's a big cultural shift. Uh, you are coming out of a college life. In college, <laughs> and being in JEC, we think that we are the best, right? There is no one on top of us. We can do anything, whatever we want to do. So when I joined MDocs, first thing is when, why I'm saying cultural shift is because definitely I'm, I was moving from student life to a professional life and I was, I was about to get my first salary in my hand. And then in, in your company, in your first company, on your first day, you meet with so many different people with different experience and from different places, right? There people will be managers who has eight to 10 years of experience, 15 years experience. There will be freshers like one or two years experience and, and all. So in college, we have almost everyone will have the same kind of mentality and same kind of understanding level. But when you enter into company, you meet with, you meet with so many different experience level people. And that, that is very useful as well. And that teaches you a lot of things. If you keep your ego aside, I was not aware that how the process works in Amazon interview and other things, because uh, the background from where I was coming was the first priority was to get the job. And till at least second year or fifth semester, only the names which we heard was the, like uh, the companies which comes in uh, in Jaipur area, right? And that is, uh, I'm not saying that we should not try those. That is a very good base to start with, right? I also started with the same thing. Amazon, um, as you said, is definitely a dream job for so many students across colleges, being it uh, IIT, NIT, uh, JEC, and other private colleges as well. Uh, there was there, there's uh, one of my friend. He is famous, so everyone would be knowing him. Uh, Ankit, right? Ankit Chansoria. He he used to come come to my room a lot, uh, and we were we were not involved in, into the same team. But I was creating my uh, minor project in sixth semester that was on C itself. And when he saw that project, he said, "Bro, you need to attempt for Amazon or Google." I said, "How? We don't have any option here, right? Uh, I don't know how to apply and uh, how to reach and whom to say, right? Because there were alumni in." Uh, Amazon or other companies as well, but those were not, we were not in very much touch with them. So the seniors with which we were in touch with, those were not in those companies, right? And that time LinkedIn was not that popular. It was in very early stage. Everyone was not used to being LinkedIn. We did not used to have internet in our phone to access everything in, on fingertips. Right? When I uh, joined Amdocs, we had fun initially because it was a new journey for us. We started getting salary. We had fun, whatever uh, fun we could have. And after eight or nine months, I realized that if I need to go to some, uh, my dream company, then this is the correct time because 
as the experience grows, the expectation also grows from interview, right? Sure. I started trying for Amazon. So Amazon used to do uh, hiring they for Hyderabad team itself. So they used to come to Pune for hiring and all. So I tried once. I did not get any response. And after three or three and a half months, I got a response from that uh, HR that uh, we want to do another phone screen. So I said, what happened to the last one? So they, she mentioned that the interviewer lost her feedback. So we do not have any feedback. But uh, the, the verbal feedback which he gave was that he was inclined. But we cannot go with the verbal commitment. We need some data points. So, okay. And then again, one more phone, phone screen happened. Then five round uh, offsite, uh, sorry, on-site in Hyderabad happened. Then I got an offer from Amazon. In Amazon, uh, there are 14 different leadership principles. And from day one, all those leadership principles are very much helpful for individual to grow. So uh, when I say helpful in terms of, so let's say I will give you one example of ownership. Ownership is one of the leadership principles which Amazon has. And that's a very basic leadership principle that is expected out of each and every Amazonian from day one. And that's the biggest difference which I saw from service-based to product-based company. There's the ownership. So what ownership means here is ownership as a leadership principle, we have to demonstrate from day one in Amazon, which is like whatever work I'm doing, whatever things I'm involved in, uh, let's say the services which we write, right? The uh, web services or the backend services, whatever we write, we as a developer of that particular, I would say, component, are end to end owner of that component. It's our responsibility to manage that component, to plan out that component, design that component, develop that component, and support that component going forward. So we cannot be like, okay, I have developed it, that's it, my job is done, now support engineer will take care of it. So that ownership is the one thing which taught me so many aspects of. Uh, Amazon life as well, and as, as well as it helped me in personal life as well. So those leadership principles, 14 things, are very much involved in our day-to-day -day life. Each and every discussions which happens are happen uh, does happen across the leadership principles. Getting into, I won't say Amazon, but getting into any or dream, dream company as a software developer. From a skill set perspective, definitely you need coding, right? Because that's the thing which we are doing here, right? Though coding is not 100% of my day-to-day -day job life, or uh, coding is like 20, 15 to 20% of that work, there are system design, there are reviews, there are other things as well. But coding is a core aspect. We want company work some uh, program only, right? So from a skill set perspective, coding is one thing. Language doesn't matter. Any language will work either. Even if you are still uh, stick with C, if you are expert in C, doesn't matter. I used to be, I used to write code only in C during college time. And all the interviews which I gave, so whether it's TCS, whether it's MDocs, and when I was in MDocs, I gave VMware, and when, when I gave Amazon, all interviews I gave in C only. I haven't used any other language. And in college also, I never tried to learn multiple languages. Java was in our curriculum, so we have to learn about it. But uh, I, I don't have any problem in saying that I was not good at Java at all during my college time. But whatever I used to know about C, I used to know in depth, at least from the concept perspective. So, and that, that, that one thing I saw during my college time uh, with other students as well, that they used to go behind multiple fancy languages that I should be knowing Python as well, I should be knowing React as well, I should be knowing Angular as well, I should be knowing Java as well, just to write in my resume, right? I don't know why I decided to stick with C and I, uh, and I don't remember that why this thought came in my mind that I should not explore any other language, but eventually that helped me uh, from the skill set perspective. Second thing is data structure and third thing is OS. So data structure includes the algorithm as well, right? Rest other subjects are good to know, they will be their understanding is good. You you will be needing. Now it depends, right? If you want to go into the networking side, which is again a very interesting and vast area, then networking is should be a core strength, right? But at least in college time, I did not have interest into it. But when I started working on AWS heavily, then I got interested in networking as well. Now now I have time, right? I can learn different different things, and I keep learning daily as well. Whatever we work in Amazon. So from college to reach up to this particular job role, programming is important. Data structure is important, and OS fundamentals are important. Advice I would give is, which is not any unique advice, if everyone knows about it, but I just want to repeat just to assure that it makes sense, it is useful. That is conceptual knowledge. Don't mug up the theory. I mean, that is good to get the theory marks and having good numbers on your uh, mark sheet and all, but conceptual knowledge is very important, whether it's data structure, whether it's programming, or whether it's civil engineering, any other thing. Is there anything which you would like to change in your college life? The things which I want to change if I could have been is trying more hard for the internship because at that time there was no culture of internship. Uh, there was no very much, as I said, no LinkedIn, no open communication, no social media, no internet. I mean, internet was there, but it was not that easily accessible, right? We did not used to have a smartphone in 2013, at least no daily plan like one GB, one and a half GB or so. So 
we used to go to uh, cyber cafes to get something at least till second year third year we got those reliance dongle and you know, internet. yeah so one thing which i want to change if i could is uh trying more hard for internship which we left easily during our fifth semester sixth semester this sense work on <laughs> and semester uh exam reading right the you break apart shivani in five parts one one unit each and you read with your roommate i still have one picture where we used to have only one currently shivani comes on i don't know shivani yes like, sir it is there uh, for the first year everyone uses that uh, yeah so we used we had one shivani only for one subject i forgot the subject we torn apart all five units <laughs> so five units we never read we never read five units in any exam we read only four units so either four we decide and one we used to leave one we used to leave because we used to go from tinpati to ranji and we were in under assumption that okay in that 15 minutes we will at least read the question from the shivani one will drive and one will sit back that never happened yeah those were the fun days yes i would like to ask uh, that what is your vision for jis see one thing which i mentioned was which is not vision but which is related to uh, what i think i could have done for jis so when i when i was in mdox so when i got into mdox that was the first time mdox came in mp so that was the first time uh, mdox did the pool campus drive in mp and we got into mdox when i went into mdox there i talked to so many hrs and somehow i was able to convince them to do a campus drive in jc do it it could not be a close campus drive it would it was a, again pool with yananga hithard i guess it's hard in jc yes so that was one thing which i tried right and from vision perspective i mean i always admire gorav sir uh, he is also coming out of our college right jc he never did mtech or anything he is coming from electronics not even from core it or cs and then he uh, established a very good known company i would say currently startup only but a good startup in uh, ai market right very well known uh, verlook.io so that's kind of a vision I, i mean honestly i never thought any particular vision for the college or so but if you ask me that what i sh- what i want from college uh, in future is that such candidate should come out from college because when we see now when we see his post he is co-founder and founder of verlu but still his college is jc only right no mtech nothing so that's the one thing which i think would make jc proud and everyone proud yes there is no doubt in talent would be having jc in terms of everything right in terms of cultural activity in terms of games in terms of study 